Salem, Oregon. In January of 1989, a man was murdered at this exact location in an apparent car burglary gone wrong. But it was not just any ordinary victim. The victim was the director of the Oregon Department of Corrections, Michael Frankie. Within three years, a man was tried and convicted of the crime, ultimately sentenced to life in prison. However, many, including the victim's own family, do not believe that the convicted was the perpetrator of that crime. Tonight on Northwest Unsolved, just what exactly happened to Michael Frankie and why? <laughs> Frankie was born on October 2, 1946, and raised in Kansas City, Missouri. After attending college on a football scholarship, Frankie enrolled at the Virginia School of Law, one of the premier law schools in America. While many of his fellow law students entertained lucrative offers from corporate law firms, Michael Frankie remained dedicated to public service. Serving as a JAG for the Long Beach Naval Station, an assistant attorney general, and then a district court judge in Santa Fe, New Mexico. In addition to Frankie's obvious dedication to public service, he's also described as ethical, moral, and diligent in his pursuit of justice. Following the New Mexico prison riots of 1980, Michael Frankie was named the director of the New Mexico Department of Corrections. The conditions within the prison, overuse of force and corruption were acknowledged to be contributing factors of the riot, and Frankie was tasked with cleaning house within the correctional system. That is exactly what he did. Frankie's efforts earned him national praise. Facing similar corruption scandals in 1987, Oregon Governor Neil Goldschmidt appointed Michael Frankie as the director of the Oregon Department of Corrections. Frankie went to work, and according to his family, Frankie told them in January of 1989 that he was getting ready to close his investigation, that heads were going to roll, and that he discovered a criminal element entangled within the Oregon Department of Corrections. However, Frankie would not deliver that report. In what till this day remains a mystery, Michael Frankie was found murdered shortly after midnight on January 18, 1989, in an apparent car burglary gone wrong. Within three years, a man named Frank Gable was tried and convicted of that crime. He was ultimately sentenced to life in prison without parole. However, this conviction was obtained with zero physical evidence. The state's case relied exclusively on eyewitnesses who, as of today, have all recanted their testimony stating they were enticed and threatened by police to testify that Frank Gable was the murderer. He only has about 50 days left to serve on his sentence, but he says he's scared every single day that he'll be accused of murdering Michael Frankie before he gets out. He says he's being set up. I don't know. I've been so scared. You know, each day you don't know if you're getting out in 52 days or if you're going to get put to death penalty for a crime you didn't commit. You know, so... It's, yeah, I'm scared, you know, more, more scared than I've ever been in my life. 